Hello, everybody. Joel Logan. Oh, man. Did you hear that? Anyway, uh, Joel Logan uh, with a hole in the ground terrain. Um, wanted to post a video tonight of a um, set I've been working on for a few weeks. I, I think it's pretty cool. I've been doing a lot of Lord of the Rings terrain. Uh, did something a little bit with a different theme, modified some of my designs, come up with something I thought was cool. I'm going to be posting a Vampire Counts uh, terrain set, a little tower and um, scene to uh, put on eBay in the next few days. Hope you'll enjoy the video. Uh, like I said, I want to do something a little different. Got to um, bust out a couple of my uh, Herstart's um, gothic molds that I don't get to use a lot. Put some really nice designs on it. You may see a little bit of a picture of it behind me, but... Um, Got to put a few little gargoyles. Use a lot of really ornate gothic pieces on this set. I uh, hope you'll like it. I'm I'm going to be throwing in a, um, a good bit of uh, some handmade um, cemetery objects. Some little gravestones and things uh, that are made out of foam. So I think with the tower and the cemetery, make a great piece. And uh, I hope you'll look at it. Hope you'll bid on it. And uh, even if you see this video later down the road after it's sold, hope you just enjoy the video. Uh, and what I'm about to show you, so uh, stay tuned. And remember, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe so you can see my new projects. Thanks and God bless. Hello everybody, as promised, here's the video of my current project, my Vampire Count Tower. A lot to show you here. Um, as always, the miniatures don't come with it, but I am throwing in a lot of extras here. Uh, all of these little uh, cemetery pieces I'm going to throw in. Uh, crafted these a little while back out of uh, the floral foam, the green stuff. Sometimes you'll see that people put flowers in. Love the texture. Uh, gives it an ancient weathered look. Uh, but there's a lot of these pieces. You can see them all here. Here that I'm going to be throwing in with it. Hope you like the little scene I set up. Um, you may say, well, this looks kind of similar to some of the other towers. And yes, it definitely does. But I've put a ton of work in this thing and added lots of extras. Uh, let me start out and show you some of these extras. Um, one of the first things, of course, is the little entrance here. Uh, hope you like the little gargoyles here. Uh, but the whole little entryway slides off as a separate piece. I've crafted the front out of her starts piece pieces. Uh, you'll see two little gargoyles. Did some little painting uh, paintings on them, and it's attached to a piece of foam. Uh, designed this where it just slides away, and uh, you can just push it back in here. Um, lots of little detail here. Like I was saying earlier in the intro video, um, got to use a lot of the pieces out of some of the different gothic molds. Uh, you'll see some of the little um, pieces here. Uh, they look really good. Did a lot of touching uh, with some gold metallic on some of these pieces. And I've got one of the real fancy uh, gothic doors. Now one thing I have did differently with this, some of the other towers, I just placed the doors upon the outside. Uh, the doors on this one actually carved out and recessed into the foam. In other words, I cut it out then placed it in and glued it in. A uh, little bow or uh, <coughs> a roof here. A um, lot, of, lot of detail dry brushing. And one of the things that I spent the most time on here um, was this little balcony. It's very ornate. Um, see, I got a little vampire guy here. But once again, on the balcony, um, recessed a door in here. Lots of little trim pieces here. I'll do the side. Uh, this is permanently attached. It doesn't remove like the bottom pieces. Uh, but I got to do a lot of trim on this piece of, and uh, some paint that made it look really good. Um, the door here, uh, once again like the one below it, I recessed it. Um, see some detail at the bottom. I'm going to throw in some of these her starts pieces here. Uh, put in a little bit of detail here of the hooded, hooded guys. But one of the things I'm most proud about this one, and I learned this from watching some of Terrainaholic's early videos, um, looking at the Vampire Counts book uh, from Games Workshop uh, in 8th edition Army, I found a miniature in there that had this exact symbol on its shield. So what I did, I made a pattern out of uh, something that looked similar, 
And I went with a Blood Dragon theme. Blood Dragons is one of the factions of Vampire Counts. So uh, I made a pattern out, uh, traced it onto foam, uh, cut it out, zipped it through the bandsaw a couple of times, got some smaller pieces. And uh, then once I got uh, enough pieces to work with, uh, using my hot wire foam cutter, I went in and uh, carved out some detail with it. And then I went back and did several layers of dry brush and then effects. But uh, I thought it would be really cool to do a, um, a vampire counts blood dragon thing. Now you will see all the way around the tower, uh, there's four of these, which I think looks really cool. Uh, makes the tower uh, look really exciting. If you were going to use this as a battle field train or for an RPG game, I think it'll look really great. Uh, one thing I did, um, of course the front side has a door to the balcony, but um, you can see here windows on the other three sides. Uh, once again, I did uh, some lighting effects on there, uh, but I painted the windows like I usually do. Uh, now my towers always have the removable tops. What's well, great for this, guys, uh, let me take my tower top off. I might have to set the camera down for a second. Um, this makes them where you can easily transport it uh, around if you're taking it to a convention or friend's house. So you'll see it's keyed here and it's designed where it easily fits in without a lot of effort. Now one thing I also did, uh, first time I ever did one to the tower tops, to try and make it a little more realistic, you know, how are your guys going to get on top of the tower? Well, I made a little door hatch here. So I recessed um, uh, a little wood piece from one of the Herstarts molds and put that there so we would have a hatch on the top for the guys to pop out on. Uh, once again, I designed this just a little bit smaller than one of my last towers, uh, so it would more easily ship. Um, hope you like the tower. We're going to be putting it on eBay in the next few days. Uh, like I said, I'm not including my miniatures with it, but guys, I think this would be a great uh, one-of-a-kind piece. This isn't something you're going to pick up at your local hobby store. Uh, I'm going to be putting it on there for a very good price. I uh, sure hope you look, enjoy looking at it. Whether you bid on it or not, or if you're looking at this long ways down the road after it's been on eBay, hope you just enjoy watching it. Uh, like I said, I had a good time with it, uh, and I really enjoyed uh, making this little heraldry symbol. I uh, hope to do some more of that. Uh, I tell you, it is really tricky cutting something out on the scroll saw that's this small. Luckily, I still have all my fingers and hadn't cut them off. But like I said, the tower comes with it. Uh, all these little cemetery pieces, uh, counting at least 27 individual cemetery pieces that go with it. Going to throw in some of these little uh, pieces here. A uh, lot of great detail. Uh, this is definitely something uh, your friends is not going to have. Um, I think it would be great for an RPG game. It would be great for a um, Warhammer 40k Um but like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. And subscribe to my channel. I, I enjoy it when uh, you guys subscribe. And I like to get feedback from you too. Um, it just makes me feel good to hear from you and uh, let you know what I think. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, the tower. And uh, please subscribe and God bless. Thanks.